guys, Dave from Gorilla Painting here, doing a bit of an unboxing on a couple of sets from Wargames Factory. So we've got the Apocalypse Survivors, uh, these come in both uh, the men set and the women set. And these are perfect for um, games where you're looking to do something like a, a zombie outbreak or a, sort of a Fallout-esque um, post-apocalypse game. Um, great for things like TNT and they also make really good uh, miniatures um, for role-playing games and stuff like that. So we're going to take a look at what's inside. So firstly we're going to take a look at the Apocalypse Survivors of the Men. So this set makes 30 multi-part figures and comes with uh, bases, plenty of different options for the torsos and an absolute heap of different weapons options. So you get three of these sprues here, each of which gives you the uh, legs and bodies uh, some weapons including things like uh, shotguns, sniper rifles, chainsaws, baseball bats, crowbars. So pretty much everything you could really hope for. So you get three of these. And then you get one additional weapon sprue here. Uh, which has some more weapons such as uh, grenade launchers, more chainsaw, chainsaws, shotguns, assault rifles. Uh, quite a different, few different uh, variants. So you've got the uh, French Famous up here. Or is it uh, one of the British assault rifles? Uh, you've got some AK-47s, M16s, machine pistols, um, and then additional canteens, ammo pouches, uh, some katanas and machetes and stuff. So heaps of different options there for customising your miniatures. And here we have the women set. So one of the things you'll notice with the Wargames Factory sprues is that they're actually designed to stack. So this keeps them stable in the uh, box and it means that uh, any sort of pressure on them isn't going to cause impacts on the components and it just means that they're going to arrive with you in a really good pristine condition. So you get one of these weapon sprues. So again we've got some assault rifles, M16s, AKs and stuff like that. We've got some extra pistols, um, we've got a little Uzi in there. One of the cool things with this set is you also get these RPGs uh, and heaps more submachine guns on there. So a bit more variant than what you find in the main set. And then there's three of these sets, which have, uh, each of them has 10 torsos and legs, and then you've got your multi-part customizable arms and heads and stuff. So one of the nice things about this is there's a bit of variation in the body shapes. So you've got some larger women, you've got some smaller ones, and there's plenty of different variants in terms of the clothing they're using. So you've got some where they're sort of in casual clothes, gym clothes, uh, there's some cowboy outfits and stuff like that, uniforms and things. Um, so you've got some cool fun weapons in here as well, like we've got a tennis racket, a golf club, um, and then one of the ones which is really useful for games of TNT for instance, uh, is this compound bow here. So once again, it's a set with heaps of different options, massive amounts of customizing you can do. So if you grab this set and the men set, you'll be able to put 60 different multi-part figures together and fully customize the weapons and then you'll also have a heap of extra weapons left over afterwards to use in other projects so definitely recommend uh, you take a look they're a really good uh, low priced option um, but as you can see the quality of the uh, sculpts are outstanding and we'll have some uh, close-up shots for you in a sec <laughs> 